everyone, welcome to my channel. Uh, in this video, I want to talk about uh, China GTB cruise of 4.8. Uh, this is the first quarter GDP growth. The news just came out today. I want to talk about my opinion on this. And before I do that, I want to ask you to subscribe because um, I noticed that uh, I only have 52 subscribers, but my, most of my videos I have more than 52 views. You know, usually, you know, people, they have uh, more subscribers than the views of our video, right? But uh, I only have 52 subscribers, but every video, like, especially recently, every video I have more than 52 views. That doesn't make sense. Maybe it's because um, uh, I don't ask people to subscribe a lot. But it helps, it helps um, uh, the channel to grow. Because if you want to really monetize your channel, you you have to have uh, at least 1,000 uh, subscribers, right? Also, um, um, if you don't know, I studied the writing on Medium. I didn't know this until I heard this website from uh, a YouTuber and I think uh, Medium is better than the other blogging system like uh, uh, WordPress or some website I used before and also on Medium you can monetize also but you have to uh, at least have 100 subscribers so if you can you can go to my uh, medium account to see I have written uh, four articles because you know sometimes I feel like uh, making videos and sometimes I feel like uh, um, writing because uh, when you make videos you have to when you write um, you have time to organize. You have time to uh, to like make your story concise. Make your you know you have time to think about uh, the, the the phrase, the sentence. And uh, you know, some people like to watch. Some people like to read. Um, okay, now let's talk about the GDP. You know. A few things that, a few English words that Chinese people know more than like English speakers. One of these phrase or word is GDP. Okay, and uh, we use it. I think we use it. Uh, Chinese use it more often than foreigners. GDP is a uh, gross domestic uh, product. Okay, and. Uh, it is, uh, you know, where Chinese people they, uh, they use it. We use it to describe the growth of a, a place. And uh, every year, or every five years, we have uh, we have uh, you know the GDP target. If a place doesn't uh, meet the GDP target, there's something wrong with it. So this year, as the GDP grew set for Chin Chinese, I think is a five point five. But the first quarter, the GDP growth is lower than that. I'm not surprised. You know, four point eight is probably one of the lowest uh, in recent quarters, especially in March and April. In April, it won't improve. Uh, and it may, it may get worse in April because um, the because of the, the lockdowns, because of the measures, Chinese governments, you know, I, I said Chinese governments because uh, 
different garments, local garments. They have, you know, many garments. This they, they 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 take draconian measures to control the virus. You know, in my formal in my earlier videos, I talked often about uh, Shanghai's lockdown. Right now, like. It's been like three weeks, and still you have uh, at least twenty million people under strict lockdown. They are not working. Let's be um, let's be specific. They are not working. They cannot go outside their home and work. They cannot make money. The prices are. Extortionately high. They have to pay, you know, they have double or triple pay or quadruple pay what it used to be. So, on the one hand, they don't have income, a lot of people they don't have income. On the other hand, they have to pay very, very high price to buy grocery. And yes, the government they do give you free grocery or supplies, but that's not enough. Not every day, maybe like a, a few days a time, and that that you know is not enough. People still have to buy online. People st still do have to pay a lot of sum of uh, like. Uh, Fee. Small, a large number of fees to the deliver people, you know, and also to the sellers. And not only Shanghai, you know, Shanghai is, you know, because Shanghai has, uh, has, 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 like, right now, maybe like uh, 200. Southern cases, right? Every day, thirty thousand cases every day at least. So, other places in China also have more and more cases reported. Shanghai's neighboring cities, uh, Qinshan, Taichung, and a great part of Suzhou. Are uh, under lockdown too, right? And uh, the logistics, the transportation industry has been very much affected. Uh, last time I sent a um, parcel from my place to EU, and it took five days. It used to be one day, one day or two, but because of the the root blocks, the, the the COVID tests, the uh, you know disinfection measures. It took five days, and I used the faster career. If you use a regular career, it may t it might take like ten days. So, and in some parts of uh, China, like you cannot send your parcel out or receive your parcel no. and business are hurt too you know foreign orders you know foreign foreigners they, they see like China is you know is still uncertain it is very easy for the government to lock down a place they will worried about the delivery of their products they will not place orders from some Chinese suppliers, and uh, you know, I do like international trade in my industry, like uh, wooden crafts. The sales are down too. You know, not just my company, companies, the neighboring companies, the neighboring factory, they all see sales going down. Some people criticize.
criticize it because China's pursuit of zero tolerance, they pursue zero patients, zero cases. So if a place has uh, like a few, one or two cases, they might lock down the whole place. April, you know, the, the, the number of the first quarter is not good. Actually, maybe January and uh, February is kind of uh, acceptable, but March is worse. And uh, April, as far as I can see, April is not good, and the, most businesses are not doing good. Just because, uh, you know, the goods are not moving, people are not moving. Can you believe that uh, every day from uh, Shanghai to Beijing there's only one train? There's only one train. Most, uh, uh, most uh, trains are cancelled. Most planes, most airlines are cancelled every day. Like for example, like, let's take a... Uh, last time I read the article, it says uh, in Guangzhou airport, 90%, 90% of the planes are cancelled in one day. My reason is that, uh, you know, people, they are afraid of being locked down. You know, if you come from a different place, you will have to go through very strict uh, check. And uh, they might, like, require you to isolate for seven days at least. Another reason is that, uh, you know, earlier there was a plane accident. We still, people still don't know what is the reason. They still, many people still worry about the safety of plane. So, Also, I, um, I, I think the governments they prioritize stability over prosperity. You know, in Westerns' um, understanding, they think like um, COVID is not uh, the the variant is not uh, deadly, so they treat it like a flu or a little bit uh, more serious than flu but China they still pursue zero tolerance so they, they value stability over prosperity you know in the West if you like the measures are too hard too harsh restaurants business will be will be hurt but now in China So I think that is what I have to say for you for this video. Thanks for watching. And again, if you like this video, not only please click like, but also subscribe and the more subscribers. Thanks for watching. I'm out.